Hi and welcome back to my channel Mama in the Mitten. My name is Chantel and today I'm going to be making my daughter Kelsey who is nine months old some homemade baby food. So if you're interested in watching me make some homemade baby food go ahead and stick around. All right, so today I'm going to be making my daughter some green peas and all you need to do this, I'm just actually using frozen. Obviously you can use fresh or canned. I'm just preferring to use frozen just because it's easier and I have a four year old as well as my nine month old daughter. So it just makes my life a little bit easier just to use frozen. Now in the past I have used fresh and it works just as well. So I have some green peas which she seems to really enjoy and I'm just gonna use the baby bullet to blend it up. You can use a blender, you can use um, whatever kind of mixing you want. I just prefer baby bullet because this is what I already have. I've been using this since I had Olivia who's four like I said. So I've just been making homemade baby food with this since then. So I'm just gonna use that. So basically all I'm gonna do is exactly what the directions say to do on the back, which is just to pour in the desired amount, put in a little bit of water and cook it in the microwave for five to seven minutes. So I'm just putting in about half of this like cereal bowl, just frozen peas, and then I'm gonna put in some water. Then I'm gonna microwave it. do six minutes all right so it just came out of the microwave and it's super hot so we're gonna let that cool off before we put it into the baby bullet So my peas have now pretty much cooled off and I'm going to go ahead and get started on placing the peas into the bullet and then getting started. So I'm just going to remove the lid and I'm going to add in some boiled water. I'm just going to add a little bit because I can always add more. You can also add breast milk or formula. I have done both before and it seems like it works all the same. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. to mix it, blend it all together.
All right, so here I am just blending the peas, making that puree. So with the puree, you can decide on the consistency that you would like. Obviously, if you want it to be thicker, then you're gonna add more fruits or vegetables or whatever you're putting into your puree. And if you want it to be thinner, then you're just gonna add more water, milk, or formula. So here's the consistency that I am looking for for Kelsey. Looks pretty good, it's not too thick, not too watery. So it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna stop here. And even though I've stopped blending it together, I'm still taking that spatula and just kind of moving around the peas, the puree, just to kind of check and see if there's any big chunks. Sometimes it gets stuck in the blades underneath. So I'm just kind of checking and making sure it looks good, and it does. So I'm going to now start to put it into these little containers, which are super nice that the baby bullet comes with. So I always like to unscrew each of the containers just so it's easier as I'm pouring it or scooping it into. For this particular set, I decided to use that little baby spoon to kind of scoop it into each of the containers so you can kind of see here that I'm just taking a baby spoon and putting the purees into each individual container. And so obviously depending on how much your child is going to eat is going to depend on how full you want to fill these up. Something also really nice about these containers is you can see here this little dial. So you can kind of spin it around. It has numbers all the way from 1 to 31. And so you can kind of set it and put the date in which you made your puree so you know. So obviously if you just saw on screen, I had the number six because I made this puree on March 6th. So if I made a bunch, I could just go ahead and keep it in my fridge and know when it's good. Or if I made different purees on different days, I could kind of set them and see what to use first and then kind of go from there. So that's super useful. I really like that. And it's really easy to move. You just kind of scoot that little bottom section. There you can see the number six. I'm making all of this obviously on the same day and we actually used it within two days so realistically I didn't even need to put that in there however I did just so I had it in case whatever it's there if I needed it I just wanted to show you and tell you that that's a nice little feature that comes with the baby bullet so I have enjoyed using these for both of my girls now All right, so now that these little containers are all filled up and looking all super cute, ready to go, I have now had a little extra still left in the blender, so I decided I was going to fill up this that also comes with the baby bullet. It's just a little, kind of like an ice cube tray, but it's a little silicone mold, so I can freeze some of the pureed baby food. So, here I am just kind of scooping it out and pouring it into the silicone mold here. Once the puree is frozen, these pop out really nice and easy so that way your baby can have the freezer meals whenever they need. So I decided after I was done with this video that I wanted to have some more of this pea puree for Kelsey just because I had some other food that I wanted to blend together and then I had some in the freezer so then she could have a little bit more of a variety. So I was going to blend some other stuff and then had this for the freezer for another day. Here I'm just taking a little baby spoon and pushing down the puree so once it's frozen it's a little bit easier to pop out. Alright, so that is how I make my nine-month-old some homemade baby food. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and give it a like and please subscribe. It would really help me out. And let me know if you would like to see me make any other homemade baby food. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.